Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing my February favorites with you. I love sharing my favorites. I don't have a ton this month. I tried a lot of new stuff, but I haven't used enough of it to really know if it's my favorite. You know what I mean? Stuff where you try it and you're like, ooh, this is good, but I need to use it a few more times to really know. But I do have a handful of things, so I wanted to share them with you guys. As always, everything that I use is cruelty-free and all these products are vegan. If you're curious and you want to learn more about vegan beauty or cruelty-free beauty, you can just head over to my website, logicalharmony.net. So I'm gonna talk about some skincare stuff first and then kind of make my way to makeup. So one of my favorites has been the Skin Owl Beauty Whip. I posted a video where I use this as a primer. This is technically a face mask. You can also use it as an overnight treatment, like an overnight mask. But when I saw that Annie, the founder, uses it as a makeup primer, I had to put that to the test. I was so impressed. I've continued to use it as a makeup primer. I used it as my primer today. I feel like it is such a nourishing, moisturizing mask, and I have used it as a mask. This is such a good multi-purpose product, I think especially if you have dry skin, but someone did comment on my video where I tested this out as a primer. They have oily skin, and they said it's amazing on their skin as well. So I'm really, really impressed with this. I've just been enjoying it so much, and I feel like it has really, really helped my skin. It's really helped to reduce dry spots. So I will do like serums and things like that at night and in the morning, but sometimes throughout the day, my skin will just get a little bit dry, especially depending on the type of foundation I'm wearing or if I have to do my makeup more than once that day. It can like really irritate my skin and I will get like flaky dry patches. This has helped so much with that. I've even used it with some foundations that are very matte and drying, and it has really helped with the wear time. I think too, I've mixed this also with the Kipris Pot of Shade. That combination makes pretty much any foundation wearable on my skin, which is amazing. So I'm just so, so impressed with this. I love it so much. If you don't have it, I think you need it. I feel like you guys always see Loving Tan in my empties videos, and I haven't talked about them in a favorites video for quite a while, but this is my regular self tanner that I use. I do have a code that it will get you a free tanning mitt and free shipping. It's not an affiliate code or anything, but I feel like anything that can help you guys out is worth it. Their tanning mitt is so good. It's my favorite tanning mitt, so that's why I like to mention the code is so you guys can try it as well. I've been using the Two Hour Express in medium. I've been very, very pale for quite a while, you guys have noticed that, I'm sure. And then you notice that suddenly I'm not quite as pale and it's because I started using this in medium again. I really like the shade medium because I think it's a very natural glow, especially for right now it being winter here. It's not something that's too tan. It just looks very natural. If you wanna dilute this, you can just mix it with some moisturizer or some body lotion, and that kind of softens it as well. But one thing that I really like about this is it doesn't go orange. I've never had an issue with it going orange. I've used this when I am extremely fair. So when I was using the Smashbox Studio Skin in 1.1, and that was starting to get a little bit dark for me. That's when I knew I needed to self tan. So I pulled this out and used it. I didn't have any issues with it being orange. So that was amazing. I loved going through that experience with them again. And it's just, it's a really good tanner. I have been really loving the hair serum from Franklin and Whitman. It is very, very nice. I put it on my hair when it's wet after the shower and I really just focus it about here down, just on the ends. It's been a while since I've had my hair cut. It's been almost a year and I'm getting a good chop tomorrow. So I'm excited to see how this helps my hair with my new ends because right now I have a ton of split ends. And sorry, it's really staticky in here. This has seemed to really, really help smooth my ends, even the ones with split ends on them. So I'm really, really curious to see how this works with super healthy hair. This stuff has just been so, so nice. It's so nourishing, it's so moisturizing. I think this is in Justin's favorites too, but it's so good. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but as I'm talking, little pieces of my hair are just going whoop, whoop, all around my face and neck and it is driving me crazy because I feel it sticking and I'm one of those people where I just hate that feeling. One thing that I've also really been loving, this is from Rescue and it is their Stress Complex. It's like an effervescent drink tab. It just has some B vitamins, zinc and magnesium. I do use their drops and I really like them, but I found that this is just, it's easy, it's fun, it's something different. Um, and I think for travel, this might be a little bit easier for a lot of people too. If you have precious space in your TSA liquid bag, this could be a good option. I've just really been liking it and it's really, really nice. It definitely helps on the days, like today is a good example where I'm feeling a little like, mm, you know, on those days, it's very, very nice to have on hand. Don't know if I 
really ever talk about tea, but I drink a lot of tea and there's a combination that I've been really loving. I was watching one of Alex Garza's vlogs and she was talking about making the Starbucks medicine ball at home, which if you guys, I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but it's a drink that I think Jaclyn Hill made popular and you can get it at Starbucks and it's a mix of two different teas in like steamed lemonade and they hate making it so much. I've had places, that, I've had Starbucks stores that tell me they won't make it because I guess it's a pain. I'm not surprised, um, but it's also expensive. And so Alex Garza was talking about making her version at home. And so I decided to get creative and I ordered some teas on iHerb. So I got the Celestial Seasonings Country Peach, which is an herbal tea. And then I got their peppermint, which is also an herbal tea. So if you do a bag of each in hot water with like half a lemon squeezed in there and then a little agave, it's not exactly like medicine ball, but it's pretty dang close. Um, so that was really, really good. If you do get the medicine ball at Starbucks, just ask them to take the honey out of it. Um, that's how you can make it vegan. This is really good. It helps with that fix. And it's just kind of like a nice soothing thing, especially for your throat if you feel like you're coming down with something. I really like the peach tea anyway. Moving on to makeup, I wanted to talk about the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I honestly thought that this would be overhyped. When they sent it to me, I was like, mm, I'm not super excited to try it because I feel like everyone raved about it and then everyone stopped talking about it. And so whenever that happens, I'm like a little bit skeptical of the product. This stuff is amazing. It is so good. I've used it as a primer, but my absolute favorite way to use it is as a setting spray. So after I'm done with all my makeup and my powder, I spray it on my face and then I pat over it with a damp beauty blender, or I will spray this directly on the beauty blender for touch-ups and pat away. It helps so much with any powderiness, any cakiness. It just helps to meld everything together and it gives you such a nice, natural, glowy finish. It's so good. So I am totally, totally hooked on this. If you've tried it, comment and let me know. Let me know what your favorite setting spray is, but this stuff is so, so nice. Another primer that I've been loving is from Supergoop and this is their Unseen Sunscreen Primer. So I do have a video on this so you guys can hear more details there. Basically, it is a sunscreen, a makeup primer, and a blurring primer all in one. And I find that it does live up to the blurring capabilities. It's very light on the skin. It doesn't have any flashback. It just helps makeup wear better. I really, really like it. I did get a comment on the video where I tried this where someone asked if I had worn it without makeup and did it make my skin look better? And yes, it did. It definitely still has that blurring effect on your skin and you get those sunscreen benefits, but it feels like skincare. It doesn't feel like a makeup primer. It feels like a really nice moisturizer. I've been really, really liking this. I recently did a foundation video. This combined with the Smashbox Studio Skin and the Eau Naturelle Finishing Powder, holy, it's like, poreless, flawless finish with those three. So that was part of what got me totally hooked on this. Speaking of Eau Naturelle, I have two products from them that I've been using so much lately. The first is their Powder Blush in Fig. This is what I'm wearing today. It's just a really natural shade and that's what I really like about it. Their packaging is really cool. It's a little powder pump. So very easy for travel, very easy for application. It's just such a nice shade. They do have a few others as well and they do have cream blush too. I've been really into this one. It's their powder highlighter in Moon Dust, which is also what I'm wearing today. It's just so pretty. I can't get over it. It's so, so, so pretty. So definitely check this out. From 100% Pure, this is their Better Naked palette. I do have a video up about this as well, and then one comparing it to the other Naked palettes. I've been using it a lot. I really, really like the shades in it. I like the formula. I don't know if it's actually a different formula than their other products, but it feels different. Something about it just feels different. But just all the shades in here are so pretty. It creates such a nice comprehensive look together, but they're just so pretty. I, I just, I love it. I think if you were going to get one naked palette, this might be the one that I would suggest. I feel like it's the most versatile of them. I really like naked too. I mean, I like all of them. I'll be honest, I do like all of them, but right now I'm really, really loving this one. A couple more eyeshadows to talk about because I've been playing with a lot of eyeshadow lately. From Eye of Horus, their Sheba Mystical and their Isis Sun Goddess palettes. I've recently been back into these and I really, really like them. Um, I do have a video, it should already be out talking about them. They just launched brushes and so I 
really used that time to cre try and create some different looks and just play with their shadows more and just found myself totally falling back in love with them. They're such a nice formula. They're very, very pretty. This one is part of the Logical Harmony and Eye of Horus vegan bundle. So it should kind of be of no surprise that it is in one of my favorites. This purple shade is gorgeous. These two are too. These are such nice shimmery shades, but I just love this purple. And then the Isis Sun Goddess is perfect for anyone who loves shimmery bronze warm tones, which you guys know I do. I will say too, this shade is gorgeous as a highlight. In the Sheba palette too, you can also use these two as highlights as well. They're just so pretty. I really, really love them. And in the video that I posted recently, I'll link to it down below, but I use shades from both of these to create like a unique custom color. So I thought that that was fun to play with them in that way. If you guys have picked these up, let me know. And then the last eyeshadow palette, which is what I have on my eyes right now, I just filmed this look, is the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild. They recently came out with a ton of vegan options. They've started labeling them on their packaging. They reformulated their eyeshadows and now more are vegan than before, which is super exciting. I've been really liking this palette. It's such a good neutral palette because I love that it's not just straight up neutrals. It's not just nudes. You have a few pops of color in there. You have this one, which is a duo crumb. That's what I'm wearing on my lid. It is a neutral palette. It is a versatile neutral palette. And for the price, you really, really can't beat the quality. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.